Hi there everybody, on today's video I have this Hyundai i20 and uh, I'm gonna be changing the front anti-roll bar links as they are um, making a noise, they're knocking a little bit uh, might not feel any play on them but uh, when they're under load they are knocking so I'm just gonna be changing them and uh, I'm gonna start by removing the the front wheels um, in this case I'm only gonna film one side because the other side will be exactly the same okay so this is the anti-roll bar link here it's connected to the anti-roll bar and then it's connected to the suspension up here now uh, we need to remove this nut and the one at the bottom and it might be a good idea to spray a little bit of uh, WD-40 or even uh, some some of this uh, rust frost ice onto the uh, bottom and top one we can do it and I'm gonna spray on the other side as well and I'm just gonna see what size is that okay that's a 14 14 mil so you can use the spanner to undo it um, that should be just fine it might be, feel a little bit tight but but you'll be able to undo it with the spanner anyway but I'm just gonna try and use the impact gun Okay, so what usually happens is that um, as you undo it, it starts starts turning. So we need to hold it from from behind and uh, and do it then that way round. Sometimes when you do it with the impact gun, it just comes out straight. But wasn't that lucky this time round? You can use your uh, 14 mil size spanner to hold the the back of this, and then well, I'm just holding it with that and, and doing it with the gun because make the process a little bit faster. It works but it is a little bit too much force on it so it's not letting me uh, hold it back. Nevertheless, I'm gonna use uh, They are very tricky. Very tricky to remove because they get so corroded. Yeah, it can be a bit of a struggle. At the moment I'm just uh, putting it in a little bit. Okay, 
Okay, so that took a bit of effort, but it came out. And the problem is that sometimes if they don't come out, you need to cut them. They need to be cut. But I think luckily this one came out in the end. So now I'm just going to concentrate on the one at the bottom. Okay, so that's the bottom one. May even wire brush it a little bit. Let's try and clean the rust from it. Okay, so let's come out. Finally. So just compare the bits that you got, make sure they are same size. But this one is uh, slightly different. It's got an Allen an Allen key hole there to hold it from So basically with that type you just uh, uh, this this one is a different size it's a 17 but what we are doing basically is uh, holding the center and doing the uh, nut this is a 17 mil, I think I already said that. Whereas the one we removed was a 14. But that doesn't really matter. What really matters is the size of the of the anti-roll link. Just make sure it fits. Get it nice and tight. Okay, so this is the uh, the top bit. Again, just have to hold the center. And basically, So just uh, get that tight as well. Uh, 
and that's it. So now uh, both sides are in, bottom and top. Just uh, put your wheel back on and it's pretty much done. And that's it, so um, now I'm going to do the other side. Uh, so hope this video helps and uh, thanks for watching.